Miss Uganda 2023-2024 is Hannah Tumukunde Karema. On the 19th of March, Hannah Karema Tumukunde was declared the new Miss Uganda, replacing Elizabeth Bagara. Tumukunde fought back tears as she received the prestigious crown. A native of Nakaseke district, Tumkunde dreamt of becoming Miss Uganda at a very young age. I was inspired by the duties of the former queens. They have done a lot of work. They have inspired a lot of people, including me, because they are the ones who inspired me to actually come and contest. With the full support of her father, Godfrey Karema, Tumkunde decided to pursue this dream after the completion of her secondary school studies last year. Tumkunde was crowned the new Miss Uganda after beating off stiff competition. When they read me, I was so shocked and surprised. It was overwhelming. But then this is a dream at the end of the day. This is what I've been looking up to. So I was very happy. But her victory was not wholly received by the public, as some people claim that she was not Ugandan, a matter that does not surprise Tumukunde. The Miss Uganda Foundation cannot crown someone who is not Ugandan. So it didn't make me feel any way. But I just kept on, I, I just have to keep on telling them that I'm Ugandan, yeah, for them to accept. At only 20 years, one wonders whether Tumkunde is ready to shoulder the responsibility that comes with the Miss Uganda crown. When you contest, you have to be ready to serve the community, to inspire the young generation out there. And there are many people who actually want to become Miss Uganda, some people who want to be like me in the future. At the forefront of the work that she hopes to accomplish during her time in office is the issue of forced child marriage. So what I would love to see is the change of mind in the parents and also a girl child to be educated and reach a point where they can decide for themselves what they want to do in life. So that's one of the legacies I would love to leave. Asked whether she'll be able to handle her Miss Uganda responsibilities and her university studies, Tumkunde remains optimistic. I'm going to try my best to do school and do my duties. But if I reach a point and I feel like it cannot go together, I'll have to pause the studies and go on with the works, then come in with the studies later. Whereas strides continue to be made in the Miss Uganda space, franchise boss Brenda Nanyonjo says there's still so much to do to educate the public about beauty standards and the requirements for Miss Uganda contestants. Because sometimes, even when people come to the event, they will still complain. Even um, when someone does not know what happens behind the scenes. They don't follow, they are not interested. This is in addition to improving on resources into their pageants if Uganda is to compete favorably at the international level. I'll give you an example of, of, of um, Miss South Africa. I, I follow them a lot, how they do their thing, my God. Because they have money, they have funds, they have resources. So their thing is even I think it's the best in, in Africa. One, two, it's, it competes highly and beats most of other pageants. Hannah Karema Tumkunde's journey will take her to Dubai next, where she will represent the country in the Miss World pageant later this year. Joyce Nakatung, NTV Tonight.